Center 13, live at 6. After a nine-year reign on the Hill, Dr. Tom Meredith decides to take on a new challenge in the heart of Dixie. Good evening, everyone. I'm Amy Bingham. And I'm Gene Burke. Thanks for joining us. It's been widely speculated for several days, and tonight, it's official. Dr. Thomas C. Meredith was in Tuscaloosa, Alabama today when the University of Alabama trustees elected him to be chancellor of the three-campus system. The interim chancellor says Meredith is the right person at the right time. Meredith says he's up to the challenge. I'm impressed by the fact that there is a, uh, a sincerity and caring about not only improving this system, but improving the entire state of Alabama and letting the University of Alabama system serve as a model for doing that. Meredith came to Western in August of 1988. The impending departure of Dr. Meredith is attracting a lot of attention on Western's campus. Tonight, Allison Gardner talks with students and administrators about Meredith's tenure and about what's ahead for Western's future tell what kind of president Meredith was. It's official. After days of debate and speculation, Western Kentucky University will be losing President Thomas Meredith to the University of Alabama. I'm quite disappointed to see Dr. Meredith go, but I understand his position and, and where he is in his career. But, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it's going to be a loss of Western in the community. Dr. Meredith is from just up the road in Owensboro, and in fact, he received his master's from WKU in 1966. Although school administrators say it's hard to see him go, every cloud has a silver lining. We feel speaks well of uh, his accomplishments at the university and uh, is a great tribute uh, to Western, we feel. During his nine-year tenure, President Meredith has become synonymous with Western Kentucky University, but now students and administrators say it's time to make plans for the future. We want to just pick up the pieces and put them together and, and move on. Many say one of Meredith's greatest strengths is his ability to relate to students, and students say they hope this legacy lives on. I guess it's a good opportunity for him, but uh, as far as the university, is concerned. It just depends on who we get after him. Students and regents we spoke with today say the mark of a good president is one who leaves a university in better shape than he found it. If that's so, they say Meredith will leave the Hill with high marks. In Bowling Green, I'm Allison Gardner, News Center 13. Western's Board of Regents is planning to call a special meeting to discuss Meredith's replacement. No word yet on when the new campus leader will be named, but Alabama trustee Jack Edwards says Meredith will assume his duties there June 1st. University is officially in the market for a new president after Tom Meredith accepts a position with the University of Alabama system. The announcement came in Tuscaloosa this morning. The Board of Trustees tapped Meredith to be chancellor over the three-campus system. That's Meredith is expected to assume his new position June 1st. Meanwhile, this leaves Meredith's current employer and alma mater in a difficult situation. Regents say they're happy for Meredith, but now they must look toward the future and begin the search for a successor. Hopefully we can find uh, someone that we can uh, continue to move forward with and continue the initiatives that we already have in place. Right now, the Board of Regents is planning a meeting to discuss how it will conduct a search for Meredith's, uh, President Meredith's successor. No word yet on when the next Western president will be named. The entire community will feel the loss of Meredith, who has been in Bowling Green since 1988. The 55-year-old Owensboro native has devoted his time and energies to the Bowling Green Warren County Chamber of Commerce, where he served on the board of directors. And chamber officials say he'll be missed. But he's taken a very uh, proactive approach to economic development in this region. He's worked very closely with our president, Dennis Griffin, and, and all of the staff here at the chamber. In addition to working with the chamber, Meredith is on the board of directors. President Tom Meredith is back in Bowling Green tonight. Earlier this week, he was in Alabama, accepting a new job as the chancellor of the University of Alabama system. He'll officially take over that post in June. News Center 13's John Clark sat down with Dr. Meredith today to find out more about his new job and what he'll miss most when he leaves the Hill for good. Now, you've been uh, rumored several times to be leaving Western Kentucky University. Why was the timing right for this particular job? Well, I think uh, several things, John. One, uh, the average length of tenure for a public university president these days is four and a half years. I've been here eight and a half years, so kind of living on borrowed time, if you will. Uh, plus, uh, the institution's future is charted. This institution knows where it's going. Uh, that gives you some comfort that this is a good time. The third thing is, um, 
the executive officers we have in place. A good, strong group, a good team working together, uh, very, very capable. Uh, it's, it's in good hands. Now, looking back at your tenure, about eight and a half years here at Western Kentucky University, what is the one accomplishment that you're most proud of? Well, it'd be hard to name just one, John. There are three or four that I can think of that I'm really proud of. But I, I think number one would have to be the fact that this campus is moving forward on the program of uh, moving to a new level. Uh, it's a, a 31 or 34 point program that sort of charts the future for the institution in a much stronger academic way. And I'm proud of the people who have worked on that and uh, I'm excited about its future and I'm sorry I won't be here to see it all fulfilled. Is there any problem that you saw when you first came to Western Kentucky University or one that developed over the course of your time here that maybe you didn't get handled or solved the way that you wanted it to? The development area, the fundraising part, We've come a long way. The structure is in place. We're ready to roll now and, and move this forward. We have more people giving to Western than ever before in its history, more money than ever before in its history. Uh, but I wanted to be on down the path beyond this. And what will you miss most about your time here at Western Kentucky University? In this new position, you'll be the chancellor, and there are three campuses, but you're not on those campuses on a daily basis getting to know students personally and getting to know faculty and staff personally. Uh, and I'll miss that. that and, and I have to tell you, that's probably the largest debate in this whole uh, item in decision making. I'm just reading a letter uh, this morning that a student dropped off. And uh, it's about a three or four page letter. And I mean, I, I'm sitting here at my desk getting tears in my eyes reading this. And uh, I doubt if I'll have that down there. So I will miss that a great deal. Tonight at 10, John Clark will continue his conversation with Dr. Meredith, looking at some of the personal reasons behind his decision to leave the Hill and the legacy he hopes to leave behind at Western. That's tonight on News 13, live at 10. University President Tom Meredith is getting ready to start a new chapter in his career. This week, Dr. Meredith accepted a job as Chancellor of the University of Alabama system. Tonight, part two of our conversation with Dr. Meredith, we focus on the changes he's seen over the years at Western and the legacy he hopes to leave behind. Talk to us a little bit about the personal attractions uh, of moving on to this new job. You mentioned that some of the things that have held you back in the past or not holding you back now, if you could just talk to that a little bit. Well, I think uh, the fact that uh, we'll be closer to both of our boys, and that's very important. Uh, we'll be just three hours from both of them this year, and next year three hours from one and four hours from the other. The fact that I think that uh, we'll be closer to my wife's family. Uh, we, we have some family still left in Kentucky, but a lot of that now has passed on. What are, uh, I guess, some of the biggest changes you've seen here? Um, during your eight and a half years at Western? One of the big changes was an, an attitudinal change. Mm -hmm. And I can remember when we were trying to raise money for the Preston Center, and we had to raise $600,000 to get $10 million. And everybody said it was just impossible. And as I recall, I think even the uh, student newspaper paper talked about the folly of trying to raise that much money. Well, we ended up raising $1.6 million and the Preston Center was built. And we raised that money not just to build the Preston Center, but to send the message. Western can do these kinds of things. And I think this campus is maybe beginning to realize they are good. They can fly with the best of them. And it took a while for that. And, and they have to think that, because if they don't think that, it won't come across in the classroom. And students won't think that they're good. But that's happening now, and I'm really excited about that because this campus is first class. When you look back on your time here at Western Kentucky University, what kind of legacy do you want to leave here? What do you want people to think of 10, 15 years down the road when they think of uh, Dr. Meredith's time here as president? I would hope they would say that uh, Western was better because he was here. Uh, if, if I can get, uh, if we can move to that point, I'll be very satisfied. Dr. Meredith begins his new job.